Tuner is all preset, and the manual is you, right. you put anything you want. So there are two settings in this propeller, auto and, ma uh, and manual. So the auto is like you can go from takeoff to climb to cruise to uh, so you can you know these are pre-programmed and auto will basically automatically once you switch this take them to the, those pitch settings on the propeller plates once you go to the manual mode now you can use this switch or if you're doing fine tuning use this switch to coerce the pitch of the propeller blade or refine it and then put this switch to hold to hold that setting that you manually put in and then you can come back to auto and go back to take off or climb and put it there and it'll go back to those pre-programmed settings and have you found um, um, fuel consumption better with this so far using that or yeah I think we that's the test we were just discussing yes. that we're gonna do some tests about that so this is an air master from uh, New Zealand it's a well-known pr propeller it's using uh, blades made in California Different blades, but these are very nice blades that are made in California that are being used on this particular one, uh, and it's performing quite well. It's a little bit heavy, uh, so it does add a little bit of weight, but um, it does perform quite well and does allow a very high cruise, even at about 5,100 RPM. Just out of curiosity, do you know what degree it, it tilts it at? Or? Uh, no, I haven't actually measured it. Actually, came, comes programmed from the factory for take for if you tell them we're using it. of the aircraft and it'll come pre-programmed from the factory to be close and we found it to be we didn't have to change those settings we could but we didn't have to really change them it was pretty much on the biggest advantage that i've known when i put it to cruise is i can get the same hundred knots at 5100 rpm versus 55 you're right 5500 rpms and lower manifold pressure so it's definitely using less power so it's definitely more efficient Same speed. Yeah, but we have to check what we're the fuel burn able, is. Yeah, we're gonna find out. It's lower. Numbers. We know the power setting is lower, but we need to figure out what what it is. So it does help. I don't know how much, but I don't think it's gonna be a humongous amount. But it does help. And then our, you were you were discussing earlier about your cables back here that you were on the some of the newer models. You're testing out something. Right. So these cables. The rudder cables and there are these pulleys right here, there are the adjusters right here. What is happening is we are testing uh, a new production uh, model right now that we're going to put on a few more hours on and it's working out very well so far. The cables are no longer visible outside. They are actually inside the tube and they come out only near the back panels and they come out underneath here. So you don't really visibly see these cables here anymore and there are no pulleys uh, here or here. There's no pulleys anymore. So it, it has essentially the uh, cable sheathing inside uh, with pretty thick Teflon coating on the internal. So it, it's very well lubricated internally uh, with Teflon coating on it and uh, the cables move inside. And you still adjust the tension that's important otherwise you get flutter on the rudder. So the tension on these cables have to be 40 to 43 pounds and you use a tensionometer and you pull on the cable. So you'll still have to do that but the cables remain on the inside meaning come out here uh, under the under the tail and come out on the inside near the barrels. And now um, as far as your canopy goes, how much longer till we see a canopy on one of these ARs? Uh, uh, we are hoping for the canopy, first production model of the canopy coming out end of February. And uh, over the end of February, uh, I'll definitely be posting some pictures on our Facebook, Civilized Aviation on Facebook. Um, so if somebody wants to keep track of that time, but uh, we have right now seven orders for canopy already. So, um, you know, many of them came in in December. So we are definitely doing the canopy. It is definitely coming out. And this machine, in fact, is going to go to a canopy. And that's one of the things that people need to realize. They may be able to buy an AR1 like this and not buy the canopy right now because they don't want to spend $6,500 right now. But let's say two years down the road, they want the canopy. They can bring it back to the factory and we are able to retrofit the canopy on their machine. With the same frame you got now? Correct. With the same yeah, nothing, body? Yeah, nothing fundamentally changes on the machine yeah there's some things that get added there's some 
some labor work that gets done uh, to install the latches and things like that, but uh, really, yeah, they can essentially keep the same machine. And then the canopy will also have a, a, a rear cowling over the motor as well, right? For right. A kind of airflow or? Exactly. So canopy is designed similarly to fit a six foot two person in there comfortably in the front seat. And essentially, it will have a cowling that will go about right here and come down. So it has a top cowling, doesn't have full engine enclosure on the bottom. So you don't need uh, completely uh, like a firewall system because it's open still on the However, it has a cowling on the top and it kind of goes, follows this curvature and comes over. And so you see about this much of the engine, but the whole top is, and all this stuff is safe. With air vents, I guess, and yeah, such. Yeah, there's the... air vents in there, correct. Yeah. And heating. And, and heating. So the canopy, canopy package actually includes cabin heating, which actually puts a little muff around the header. And uh, there's a blower that sucks in fresh air through a sketch tubing and blows that fresh air onto the muff, takes the heat out of the exhaust, puts it back out on the other side. So it actually heats, gets pretty dusty pretty quick. And it's electrical, so you turn on the fan, the blower sucks in the air, puts it out and blows it on the other side. So that's what's coming, so watch out for that. In a couple of months, right? You think? Or? I, I'm hoping uh, the canopy would be out end of February.